Hey guys, hello everyone and welcome to the channel. So today in this particular video, I'm going to discuss with you the last 30 days strategy that what you guys can do actually to enhance your marks to have a better preparation for the CSI net exam. All right. Now we know that from today onwards, you have around 30 plus days, uh, some days more than 30 days. Uh, so yeah, you have to be very much sure about that what you are actually going to do in these days because these days can make or break your preparation okay and you all know that this time you have got lot many times compared to any other CSI net exam which has happened in the past 10 years okay you have got one year actually for the preparation of this particular exam you all might have started your preparation from your January itself right or from the last December itself and now you are in the November month when you will be having the exam so that's why the strategies and other things are going to get a little bit changed now before starting and before telling anything for uh, regarding this let me tell you that if you are following a particular strategy if you are following a particular stuff of your own if you are following a certain thing then do follow that keep following that don't keep on changing your strategies that also affect your preparation okay so don't waste your time in changing your strategies just stick to a particular strategy and just prepare accordingly right so basically for your last 30 days okay your last 30 days what you have to do okay before starting anything from today the first thing which you have to do is self analysis okay you have to do self analysis and this particular self analysis will tell you that how much you have actually studied till now okay now uh, i guess most of you know the weightage of the marks according to the topics if you don't know about that i'll be giving you pdf for that in the description of this video you can just go with that and you can download those PDFs in that PDF there is topic wise weightage of the of the different topics of organic inorganic and physical chemistry okay so it's as such like it's like that so if you will download the, that particular PDF and if you will count those topics you will see it's the average kind of thing which is uh, like which is taken for the last 10 years of CSI net exam it tells you that how many marks question is asked from a particular topic now what you have to do in the self analysis part you have to see that how much topics you have covered up just make a tick on those topics and see that those topics are giving you how much marks in combined or in total okay so the topics which you have studied just count those topics count the marks of those topics you can take the aggregate of that okay uh, like it's not uh, given exactly but yeah, every year that number varies by one or two so you can take an average of that just add all of them and see that how much you are getting so that is the first thing which you have to do now after doing your self analysis okay if your marks is coming around 200 or plus okay that is 200 plus you are getting your marks 200 you will get more than 200 also if you have prepared a lot of topics your marks can also reach 300 and something so if you are getting 200 and plus marks you have to be very sure about those topics okay which you are marking that yes you have covered that topic and you are able to solve questions or you are quite confident with that, that topic only tick mark those ones okay because this is self analysis you, you have to be honest with yourself so if you are getting 200 plus marks uh, in that particular case now you don't have to include more topics in your preparation okay so if your marks is 200 plus in that case what you have to do that you don't have to study like don't include more topics okay in your preparation like you are good to go with whatever you have studied and if you want you can just include one or two topics but it's it's like you you can be satisfied with the topic selection okay that means yes you have selected quite a good amount of topics and now what you have to do is you have to just solve questions okay you have to solve questions that means you have to practice that is the only thing which you have to do plus you have to keep on revising that thing so you have to do practice plus revision okay how to do effective revision that is uh, that i'll explain you in a very short and a very different video okay there i'll tell you some very good techniques how to revise the topics okay that we will discuss but in this video i'll only tell you that what you can do in the next 30 days okay fine the next thing this is the self analysis thing which you have to do fine after see let's say you are getting around 150 plus but less than like less than 200 and 150 plus okay if your marks are in between of 150 to 200 if this is so then you have to include few topics okay just you have to include like few new topics 
few new topics you have to include just those topics which you are comfortable with you have to study those topics and again the same thing you have to do that means you have to solve questions uh, you have to practice questions and plus you have to revise okay so this is what you have to do that, that's the second thing and let's say if you have counted it and you are getting like uh, like 100 to 150 or less than 150 if you are getting let's say uh, less than 150 marks in that case you need serious uh, like you have to be very serious about your preparation okay you have to include more and more topics and you have to study more instead of practicing and revising okay you have to focus more on including more topics and studying those topics okay that's what you have to do so include like you have to prepare rigorously you have to build up more concepts okay so clear or clear more concepts okay clear more concepts in this case clear more concepts now once you have done with this self analysis part that means you have got to know that what you uh, what marks you are getting it or how much you have prepared now after that after that particular thing let's say you want to know ki how to solve questions okay now i am getting like i got uh, this question from many of you that uh, should you go for PYQs for practice or you should go for test series okay you should go for test series for practice okay for question practice so what you should go for this is a most asked question which I usually get so see what you have to look for that the first step of this is the first step towards practicing is to solve all the PYQs okay solve all PYQs now all PYQs means it's not like if you have taken a CSIR net question paper you have to solve each and every question solve those questions which are there from your topic of interest let's say you have prepared organic and inorganic so and you have not prepared physical chemistry so when you are taking a PYQ paper and you are solving don't waste your time on tough topics of physical chemistry like quantum and all because you have now studied that topic so obviously it will be difficult for you to approach that question right so instead of that practice more questions of your uh, like strong zone okay so this particular thing will save your time and it will also not make you feel bad about it okay sometimes what happened that a person has studied inorganic and physical and when he solves pyq he also tries to take question from organic chemistry those topics which he has not at all touched like organic reaction mechanism and when he is not able to solve it he feels bad about it he just and this times your down morale is going to be causing a lot of a difficulty to you okay in your preparation it will be a big hurdle so don't try to like uh, keep your morale down okay just try to stay motivated just try to study and just try to prepare as much as possible just try to give your best for the exam okay that's what it is so solve all pyqs all pyqs means i am talking about from june 2011 to december 2019 there will be 20 question papers here okay so 20 question papers will be there so try to solve all of them all of them rigorously and very carefully if you are done with step one this is a step one you have to qualify or you have to like you have to complete step one once you are done with step one then step two is you can go for your test series okay you can go for test series now there are many test series which are available in the market and if you will ask me sir which i should buy I would not recommend you to purchase a test series okay there are many free test series which are available especially I would try to like I would like to tell you about unacademy test series unacademy championship mock test series is going on every Sunday there is a test conducted on unacademy platform you can go there and you can give that test free of cost you don't have to pay for that and on the next day that is uh, on Sunday there is a test so on Monday you will have an analysis class of that so in the analysis class we will also get to know ki how your questions will be actually done so any doubt will be cleared up in the next class so this kind of uh, like uh, this kind of service is not at all provided free in any of the other platform so you can take advantage of this unacademy uh, like test series okay that is going to help you a lot so yeah this is one thing okay so i would recommend for that if you are interested and if you want to buy you can buy any of the online test series there are a lot of test series which are available in the market you can purchase any of them but my recommendation is to go for the free test series okay free mock test series okay so that's what you can go for 
now uh, in the free mock test it might happen that one or two questions will be so different or so much difficult that it might feel key how to solve these questions especially it will happen with organic and physical chemistry okay uh, you will see quantum chemistry questions of a very high level in your free mock test now you you will think that how i will do this question like i have not prepared that topic because i am not able to do this that question but it's not like that there in the mock test there are one or two questions which are out of your like context of csir level okay csir level is not that high uh, the questions might be asked from tifr or from gate level but it might sometimes happen okay so just in any case scenario don't let your morale down okay just stay motivated if you are not able to do question don't worry about it join the analysis class and see how it is done now just in the analysis class if you see that how that question has been done just write that down in your notebook or in your short notes and then you can just uh, keep on revising that and it will help you further right so that's one thing about your pyqs and test series that's uh, what you have to do so this is how you have to do unless and until you have not solved all the pyqs don't go for test series okay it won't help in any way so test series will only uh, like if you have solved pyqs then only go for your test series that's what is one of my advice for you all the next thing which we have is regarding revision okay regarding revision so i'll make a separate video on this that how to revise effectively but right now what i would suggest you that keep revising daily okay D revise daily and uh, that's what you can do so you can keep on revising daily whatever topics you have just divide them and then try to do now this particular thing like a proper revision technique i'll tell you that uh, how we do cyclic revision and all i'll talk about that uh, in a separate video okay so do uh, do wait for that but yeah let's talk about ki uh, what should be your schedule okay what should be the proper schedule for preparation okay what should be your proper schedule for pre preparation now i am not going to tell you uh, the time and the like when you have to study in the morning or evening or what it's not uh, like you all are quite aware about it okay you are quite mature and you can decide or you can design your own schedule to prepare or to make uh, preparation effective now what i would suggest you for your preparation is that uh, you can maintain your schedule in such a way that in the morning time when you are fresh okay when you are fresh with your mind then if you have to study some new topic okay then go for your new topics and try to study them okay in the morning when you are quite fresh and you are there your mind is there to absorb new things go for uh, the new topics uh in the afternoon uh, like the afternoon time you can go for your revision uh, because in that particular time uh, you are not that much inactive and you are not that much active okay so in afternoon time you can go for your revision type okay you can go for your revision of the topic and in the evening time or in the night time basically before going to sleep you can go for practice question okay you can go for practice questions so if you follow this thing this will effectively help you to grab more from the less in within the less time okay so you'll be able to grab more of the topics within the less time so this is going to be more effective in this particular way apart from this if you have any other schedule you can follow that okay it's up to you yeah if you have if you don't have to do any new topics in that particular case you can give the morning time to those particular topics which your uh, which you think that they are not that much you are not that much comf comfortable with or you are not that much confident with you are having problem in solving questions with those topics in the morning time just try to revise those topics okay now one important tip okay which most of the student generally miss is that when you are practicing a particular question okay when you are practicing that means when you are doing pyq let's say let's say some of the question is the like the it's coming from a topic which you have studied but you are not able to solve that what you have to do is you have to search for the solution of that question you will find that solution the solutions will be available either online or on youtube you might get that on my channel as well and you will get that on or you might get that on facebook somewhere you can discuss it with your friends you can post it on any discussion group and there you will get the solution of that particular question once you get the solution of that particular question don't just leave it like that okay try to solve it of your own just by looking at the solution once solve it in your notebook and try to keep a track of those questions okay those questions uh, are going to be the ones which 
which are there in your subconscious mind but if you will practice once more right it will give you a better knowledge of that and it will be giving you a better grab on that particular topic okay so that's what it is uh, same goes for your revision also okay so same goes for your revision also let's say there is a topic which you are forgetting after every uh, certain time let's say there is a topic which you are studying but again you are forgetting that okay so what you have to do you have to make it in a cyclic way that i'll talk about it in a separate video that how to revise in a better way but yeah you have to make a particular kind of routine that you keep on revising that particular thing okay so that you don't miss out that thing okay if you will keep on revising that particular thing obviously it will stay it in your mind the third thing is that you should have your short notes okay your short notes or also called as micro notes should be there which are made like let's say you are studying a particular topic from book or from any video or something you should have your short notes and these short notes you should keep on making them uh, up till whatever you are preparing for the exam up till the 10 days before the exam or five days before the exam before five days you have to revise from your short notes so these short notes if you have not made up till yet i would recommend that while revising a topic keep on making short notes okay in a particular notebook keep on writing all the short and important points from a particular topic these short notes always help it helped me also it helps uh, like i knew students who have got a lot of benefit from these short notes it will help you also okay so make these short notes don't forget to make these short notes okay if you have not made it yet start making it from today onwards apart from the short notes the also one of the thing which people generally ignore or which you all actually do but that is your youtube videos okay that is youtube videos there are many videos on youtube which are available for the last prep, last uh, time preparation they are not long they are short videos especially you will find uh, many of those videos on my channel these are all 30 minutes video in a 30 minute uh, time i have explained a particular topic so that is also one of the way of revising the topic okay so youtube videos are also one of the way of revising a particular topic also in my videos you will find previous years solved questions so it will also help you in practicing also so yeah youtube videos are also which you can find now having said that i will also tell you that what i have planned for the further youtube uh, classes or for the further youtube videos so i'll be making uh, like uh, tricky question series which i was having okay so we were making tricky question uh, series right so that series was already running on the channel and that i will continue with more topics which are of four marks and which are having higher weightage so i'll include these topics uh, like i'll include these videos apart from these what you guys need from me you can drop that down in the comment section below uh, so and one more thing that if you want to ask any proper question any definite question regarding your preparation and regarding the preparation of uh, your exam so you can drop that uh, particular doubt or that particular query in the uh, comment of this particular video i'll try to take that doubt or that particular question in the next faq video okay so i'll try to make a faq video where i'll try to answer all your doubts regarding the preparation because it's very important that in this last time you should also have a proper guidance okay so in case you don't have anybody to ask or you have any doubt or any problem in the preparation you can ask that in the comments of this particular video i'll try to include that in a separate video all right so that's you have got two days time for that so in the next two days you can drop your comments and i'll try to take those questions all right so that's all for this particular video guys thank you so much for watching i hope whatever i told you regarding the preparation regarding the tips and regarding how to practice and how to self-analyze uh, these things will help you in your preparation and i guess and i hope that most of you will take best of this particular video and you will prepare in the best possible way all right and uh, that's all from my side guys thank you so much for watching and uh, all the best for your preparation bye bye